We ain't even gonna waste time. We ain't gonna waste time on this. First of all, it's an honor and a privilege to have you back down here at the nation. You know, we always get that out of the way. But for those who don't know, we ain't even gonna waste time. Tory Lanez, what's going on with you, brother? Thanks for having me back. Thanks for having me back. Well, we had to touch down with you make this call happen. We heard what happened. They took your recording equipment. First off, let us just say what all the people are thinking. How did you have recording equipment? Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. It just, you know, I walked into one of the shops and the recording equipment was in there. I think they used to have a music program or something. Bruh. And I just started recording and it wasn't a problem. Wink. You know, sometimes, you know, they brought me extra things that I needed. And I just do want to say, first of all, the Breakfast Club said that I snuck the equipment in in my butt. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. That didn't happen. So definitely didn't sneak nothing into my butt. I don't smoke oh. contraband in no facilities. And now uh, we was gonna get into how you got it in there and what you actually had. A lot of people were saying you were recording on like an Apple Watch. Bruh. A lot of people said you had like a phone or a tablet or real recording equipment. What did, it was actually, can you even say? What it, it was actually a whole, a full studio, real recording equipment. And I'm just saying that the police was bringing the most of the equipment in. You serious? They would bring it and they allowed me to, to record, you know, the prison tapes and all that, but all of a sudden something changed and they just flipped on me. Oh. So I'ma just let it out. I don't think you can say that. I'ma cut that part out. I'm getting frustrated because I don't like how they just flipped and went against the, the deal that we had. We had, you know, we had an agreement. And so now, with the people that say you, it was all right when you recorded for the warden's Bruh. niece for her birthday. For her sweet 16, it was cool. Uh, so now, what happened? Did you have a fight or something happened? I didn't have any fight. I've been being good. I, I got my barbershop privileges back. I was able to shave. I got to get down there next week and get a haircut, but everything was going cool. And I think when I made, you know, the prison tapes and they feel like I'm gonna start climbing up the charts and they got a little worried and they flipped on me and went back on our agreement. And it, do it look like it's any like light on you getting out or whatever? Well, I, I do want to give an update on that. They denied my last motion. They saying that it wasn't newly discovered evidence. I mean, my driver, you know, he was sick. That's why he wasn't able to testify at the trial. And he know what happened. So he tried to come forward and they wouldn't allow his testimony. So I'm appealing that and I'm appealing a couple of things, you know. So I'm just hoping that um I can get some light from a higher court. And are uh, you all right down there? You did. did the commissary and everything, are they doing right by you? They're with your not, label you know, or wherever you was with. They was trying to support me, you know, they're trying to get me out early because they can't make no money unless I make some money. And I've been eating good, I know y'all can see that. I just, you know, I'm getting my barbershop privileges back. I'm a political prisoner. You know, that's why I started wearing the political prisoner shirts. Uh, shout out to Sada Shakur. I wish I was in Cuba and they didn't have their hands on me. I didn't run because I was innocent, but I think in, in retrospect, I think I should have ran. Well, now, we, we got to get this out there. The fans would be mad if we didn't ask. Recently, it was a tape that had came out. Well, it had been came out, but they start bringing it back around just because I don't know. But you were talking to, uh, what's the lady's name? We don't want to say, we don't even care about her name. But, sorry. You were talking to her on the phone about what happened that night. Some people say you were self-snitching. Some people say... You in jail because you don't want to snitch it. Can you tell us what's going on? No, like, like, listen, like they edited that conversation. A lot of things were said that was edited out. But she was asking me, like, hype or boy. She was like, what if? It's almost like when OJ did the what if thing. If I would did that, if I would did Bruh. that. So them questions was, they was poised and phrased a certain way to get that type of answer. But that wasn't the whole conversation because I would never snitch on myself. And again, I'm innocent. I didn't do this thing. But again, they edited that conversation and everything wasn't really played the way it, it, the question wasn't asked, asked and answered that way. It just, they just made it look like that. And I'm gonna put my foot, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna play nobody, but they definitely, it definitely didn't, um, I didn't have the conversation. That wasn't a full conversation, it was edited. And now, but before we get you out of here, do you, have you been like looking at the Young Thug case, the YSL? Do been, you got get the? I've been watching the case. Watch that. I've been watching it closely because I'm curious to see what they do 
with them because I think that they should be let go. It's like it's like an attack on rap, you know, and it's always been an attack on rap. Now if they got me, I'm really concerned about it now. Bruh. What the, we hope everything is good with you. We, you know, we had to check in. Free Young Thug. They took your equipment and we had to get the update on how you felt and what was going on with Definitely. you. And are they gonna give it back or what's going on? I don't know. My lawyers are negotiating because I'm not hurting nobody. I'm just trying to make music. Music brings people together. I got guys in cell block A and cell block B dancing. They not stabbing nobody no more. I mean, there's been some free golfs, but. <laughs> Gay! Listen, music brings people together. And that's all I'm trying to do is keep a calm environment in this prison system. You know, the California prison system is dangerous, you know. So I'm trying to bring down some of the violence and, and just spread love. Well, we know you got to get out of here. Thank you for giving us the update and, you know, let us know anything we can do for you. Thanks for always checking in on me and let, my, let me get my, my point of perspective out. My perspective out. Thank you. Sorry, legs. What? The, the phone. Y'all not taking my last phone. How am I going to have my sex? Nah, nah. How am I going to have phone sex? Y'all not taking my last phone. Listen, quick public service announcement. Certain portions of this channel and segments are just satire. It's strictly for shit and giggles. So don't get all bent out of shape. Support the channel. It's just jokes.